Good evening from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Uh, before I get on to the many topics I'm talking about today, i uh, like to take um, the time out to thank all the Mickey takers about my beloved Leeds United. We lost 6-0 at Liverpool the other night. Uh, we've also been recently trounced at Manchester City 7-0. I know friend Charles, you'll be laughing down there. Also, we've lost 4-2 and 4-2 at home to Man United and Arsenal, respectively. Uh, we've also lost 6-1 or 6-2 at Man United. We've lost many threes as well, many fours as well, many fives again, I think. Uh, so it's fair to say I'm beginning to get really worried that we might be facing relegation, uh, which would be very, very hurtful for me. I still don't want Bielsa to go. Many of you are watching today are Leeds United supporters. I'm seriously, seriously worried. We are still away from the relegation drop zone by about three points. So does that mean anything? I think it depends on the run you're going on right now. And it doesn't look good for us at all. Uh, so we've had a couple of good results in the last 10, maybe. You know, a couple of wins here and there. Didn't get me too excited because I know what we need now is a five, six game run of victories uh, to keep us, you know, in the picture kind of thing, away from the drop zone. But I'm really, really worried. I wonder what some of you two, you lot think as well. Also, great news coming in. The great Tony Argent will be making an appearance in the next week or two. Uh, be on the phone to him. Really, really happy to hear from Tone. I went a couple of weeks without hearing from him. When I don't hear from him, I get worried. We know it's been a very, very bad time for him last year, specifically uh, with his bereavements and whatnot. And it seems to me that he's pulling through uh, in the last couple of weeks. And to see him smile today, uh, to hear him happy, uh, to hear him talking the old fighting talk. Many of us have been through what we've been through since we've been now. Coming out of there is one thing. Surviving out here is another. Now, just to fill you in on, on a bit that's come to my notice today that I haven't thought about much since I've been now. I went down to the local supermarket. I bought coffee, sugar, milk, and belief, I'm afraid I'm still a smoker. And a couple of other bits and bobs that I was expecting to cost about £21. It came to about £37, right? So for a minute, I thought they were taking the piss out of me. So I had to keep up the queue, I'm afraid. Uh, not too many people happy. But it worked out that they were right and I was wrong. Now, I'd like some of you to explain to me because uh, inflation is a word I haven't really ever experienced before. Now, having spent my whole life being a criminal and getting £10,000 watches, getting loads of jewellery, uh, selling them at half the price and not getting the right money for those kind of things, but all in all, the wrong way to live and stealing people's belongings, we know, is a very, very bad karma. Easy come, easy go, so they say. Money is not easy come, easy go to me no more, I'm afraid. And I'm also hearing today that depending on what shop you go to, which I wasn't aware, like the corner shop down the road here is £4 or £3 extra than it would be if I go to the co-op, if I just took the zebra crossing across the road, it would cost me about a few quid less. So if you buy 10, 15 items, basically what I'm saying is many of you know already, sorry to sound a bit thick, but you would save yourself something like 15, 20 pounds on some days. But, you know, not prepared to make the journey, being too lazy or whatever, or it not occurring to me that these pennies can add up. Inflation of what I've come to, because it's never been a word I've ever been used to in my life before, uh, like I said, uh, I'm wondering how the hell some of you working class people have ever, ever survived out here. Because apparently it's been getting worse and worse every single year. So my hats go out to you all today. I honestly praise, praise, praise you to the highest praise that I possibly could. Because I can't see how 
I could have worked uh, for those hours for pittance, really. And to pay the bills, not only that, to pay the car, the petrol, and also had an experience the other day where I'm homeless, where somebody said to me, when you're finished with the water in the bath, can you leave it in there without taking the plug out? I was thinking, what are you on about? Normally, we just undo the plug and let the water run out and run another one. No, they're saying to me, we haven't got the money, Yami, to run two baths, so to speak, like electric, water, gas, that kind of thing. It all comes into the equation. So this is how bad it's coming to me now. Now, I haven't thought about this before. I know many of you uh, have been through this many, many times over uh, where you're trying to save the pennies, but I never noticed before. Now I do because easy come, easy go when you're a criminal and you can go out there and in, within an hour get a 5,000 pound watch, 10,000 pound watch, loads of jewelry and go and send, sell it, sell somebody's uh, belongings for next to nothing. Uh, tuppence, basically, for what it's worth, let alone doing the wrong thing anyway. And you waste that money and spend it as freely. Like walking across to that shop across the road, like the corner shop, like I'm hearing, like, uh, I had an argument today over coffee, tea, sugar, uh, and belief, I'm afraid I'm still a smoker. And I thought it was going to come to something like £21. Not to my, my, my shock and surprise, it came to something like £37. Now, I caused a big disruption in there because I thought I was being conned. And it so worked out. I was wrong. They were right. And that's just the way it is these days. Because no matter what way I look at it, even in the time, in the two years I've been out, it seems like prices have gone up higher and higher and higher every year. Many of you have experienced it year after year, time after time, long before I had to face this kind of thing. And today I take my hat off to all of you that do a hard day's graft or work every single day of the week and for most of your lives. And what I'm realizing now is it must be all in aid of nothing. All in aid of nothing, not that paying the bills or feeding your kids or planning for a holiday once a year. Uh, basically, where's anything in it for you? If you've got a family, uh, I'm talking to someone the other day, they've got a driving job and their tyres went a bit funny. And they told me that their tyres cost £300 to fix. I was expecting the company, some companies I hear do, some companies I hear don't, to expect to pay for the tyres. No, they don't, not all the time. So not only has he got to pay his bills, look after his kids, uh, use the petrol that he's got to use, use his gas or water and electric or whatever he's got to do and put, you know, put the money on the table for the bills. He has to pay out of his own pocket for the tires to help him do his work. So how does it all work? Someone try and shed some light on this for me because I'm now, uh, if I've not said it already, uh, today, what do you gain out of working day and night for next to peanuts? They should be ashamed of themselves. Honestly, 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 how can you get up and go to work every single day of the week and earn nothing for yourself? Because even your train fares, if you have to travel, that's as well as getting knackered at the end of the day and coming home to provide for your family or, or for whatever living conditions you're living in. Uh, that's going to cost money as well. I want to know what doesn't cost money. Your train fare, your bus, all those things that uh, I'm coming across cost money. And you don't get enough wages uh, to bypass all those things and think uh, they're nothing. Because like I said to you earlier, causing that commotion in the corner shop 
when really all I had to do was walk across the zebra crossing. Sorry. All you got to do is walk across the zebra crossing and in co-op, you're knocking off three, fours, five pounds on each shopping list. So if you look at it properly, you could earn, save 15, 20 pound every time you go shopping, if you go to the right place. I think some of you have told me this, but me with my lazy self, just think easy come, easy go, like I used to, uh, stealing everyone's money, uh, gold watch, 5,000 pound, gold watch, 10,000 pound, loads of boxes of jewelry where your pocket fat, 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 with ill-gotten gains from other, other people's expenses. Uh, basically, you're, you've got money there to waste because it's not yours and you're not working hard for it. You might be working hard for it as in you're risking your liberty for it, but that's your choice. These people haven't got a choice to go to work every day to provide for their families and uh, do the basics, not luxuries, you know the basics that they have to do every day. But getting into somebody else's bath the other day was the thing that caught my imagination. Because for someone to say to me, don't pull the plug out and let somebody else save the water because we ain't got enough. And also in a house where it was freezing, freezing cold. And I was thinking to myself, how, how can I live in a place that's freezing, freezing cold? And all they got to do is go and put £10 or something in a meter and bloody, bloody, blah, and water comes on. They're saying, nah, they can't afford to do it that way. And I said to them, oh, I said to them, well, I live here. What am I paying for then? Like, it was rather rude, really, because uh, they're providing everything else that I'm not thinking about. And they said, nah, 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 we got to save. We got to budget and economise as much as we can so that we can we can save the pennies and scrape by, if you get what I mean. So real eye openers to me today about easy come, easy go. Uh, yeah, because when you're a thief, uh, when you're some kind of crook, when you're dealing, and now I'm hearing people saying to me, now do you see why I do this hustle on the side? Why, why do you think I sell a little bit of weed? Why do you think I do the odd... Um, selling bits of this here, there and everywhere, just so that I can mount up enough money so that I can live comfortably. Comfortably isn't going to work every day, I'm hearing, uh, and living off what you're earning. So a real eye opener for me today. And I praise you to the high heavens because it's something I would do now if I was fit enough to work. I've got to be honest, I would. I would, because it makes me, it, well, to say it makes you feel like a man isn't, isn't the right word, I would say. Uh, it is your family duties uh, to pay and look after the family that you, you brought into this world and raised, and you're trying to do the best you can for them. And knowing that I know now, uh, there's a lot of one parent families, single mothers and fathers or whatever, that have to get their son's school uniforms and uh, get their fares every day. Uh, so many, many, many uh, family members or people in, in the family, they have to put before themselves. So that is the ultimate sacrifice as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but I'm hopefully after this topic today, sorry again. Uh, no, we're not sorry again. We've been battered again today, I think. Uh, so it's looking ominous for us this season. So I'll be up in a little while. I think I'm in a mood to tell a few tonight. So get ready. And I think that's enough for this afternoon on that topic. Another learning curve for Uncle Yami, man. Easy come, easy go. Be a man and earn it properly. <laughs>